years and my life is still trying to get over that great big hill of hope for a destination cry sometimes when I'm lying in bed just to let it all out what's in my head and I'm feeling a little peculiar so I wake in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I scream at the top of my lungs what's going on? hey How's it going? I'm not gonna scream at the top of my lungs because I am in a hotel room and the walls are paper thin. I'm gonna turn on this light though. Welcome to probably the last live stream that I'm gonna be doing for a few weeks because guess what? Game over, fuckers. Oh shit, I said fuck in the first two minutes of whatever. Um, yeah, night shift again. Go figure, night shift. So, if you haven't been following along, um, obviously you're not a patron because patrons know exactly what the fuck's going on. Except for, um, I didn't do uh, a Veets vlog today because uh, I didn't really have the the time or reception. Oh, oh, speaking of reception, um, oh my god, see you here, are we good? We still here? Yeah, the reception's bad here, um, so it's been hard. It took me like hours yesterday to upload that little vlog. Um, it literally took like two, three hours to upload that fucking minute long video um so that sucks but uh that's that's all y'all are gonna get for for a while so today is kind of the last hurrah before i go back to the beat mines um yeah not uh oh. i'm i'm happy about it so the thing about uh thing about this beat yard and the yards in this area is Mostly they do nine hour shifts. Uh, we got lucky because at this yard they do have the 12 hour shifts, but the 12 hour shifts shifts typically go to uh, like favored returning employees. So I wasn't sure if we were gonna get it. You know, at this point we're just gonna take whatever we can get. Um, but they they were. I, I don't want to like toot my own horn here too much. Um, but my work speaks for itself. So they were very happy to uh, put me on the the big boy piler and uh, give me a long shift. So that is nice. Um, it's not nice like for <laughs> my mental and physical health, um, but it's nice for getting paid. So I'm I'm pretty stoked on that. Yeah, we we got the twelve hours, but they're night shifts. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I almost canceled the stream, but I, cause, cause my, cause I drank a bunch of coffee when I got back here and, uh, drank a bunch of cream and then I got, I realized that I hadn't eaten any food all day and I got really fucking nauseous. So I made myself some noodles and I got those down without puking them back up and, um, now we're okay. I'm waiting on my stomach to settle a little bit more. Um, but I am gonna, I'm gonna have one of, one of my favorite little energy drink mix packets before the end of the stream, 200 milligrams of caffeine, and stay up as long as I can, because my, uh, my hours are gonna be 6.30pm to 6.30am. How's it going? Christy's working, door dashing, nice. 
Fuck yeah, core daddy. Fuck yeah, captain. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm happy about it. So um, yeah, this is this is our last hangout session until probably until the job's over. There might be like a day off or something where the weather's not favorable to us, and um, I I'll probably just sleep to be perfectly honest. But if I I they, what I'm trying to say is there's very little chance, um, little to no chance that I'm going to be live streaming again for a few weeks. So um, if you want to keep up with the daily vlogs, you're going to have to join the Patreon. I'll be doing, um, I'll be trying to do one every day, maybe every other day, depending on how gnarly the reception is or how like dog tired I am. But I will be taking videos and um, kind of talking about my daily experiences. So for $1 a month, you can pledge and join that and see pictures and videos. Um, and that will be really, really useful to me. Um, but yeah, so that's, yeah, this is our last fucking, it's our last chill session for a while. So enjoy it. And uh, uh, if you want to get down with the kickdown, I literally have $8 left in my bank account right now. Um, we're... We have enough food for like the next two days. We're not getting paid till like next week. Um, so if you wanna if you wanna throw a bone my way, feel free to hit one of the links in the description for the uh, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. I actually genuinely could really use it right now. Um, Cause yeah, it, it we're in the middle of nowhere and we're gonna be busting our ass. And I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna be a zombie. I'm I'm gonna turn into an actual vampire zombie <laughs> yes yep set the patreon to one dollar set it and forget it you won't even notice it's uh you won't even notice it's going going somewhere hell yeah making those dollars making the making the big boy bucks yeah i got that triple b up in the house um but like i said i'm not i'm not gonna be seeing it until first payday today we had uh another training day so that that was optional um, cause I did the training day on Monday, but it's paid. So of course I'm going to go and do it. Um, they were quite, they were quite pleased with my work. Um, even got a high five from, from one of the harvest leaders. That's, that's what they call them. And what's cool about this yard is, um, it's, it's a smaller yard and the pay perks aren't as good as in North Dakota. Um, but it's not like, you know, like, it's not like foremans and then underlings or whatever. And it's not, it's not as hierarchical. It's not as hustle based. Like, you know, over in North Dakota, it's all like, like, we're going to bust ass, go above and beyond 110%, blah, 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 blah. You know, but out here, everybody that's supervisors is like in a current traveler or an ex traveler and or punk or punk adjacent which is nice so everybody's kind of on the same page um as far as like worker solidarity and whatnot which i like a lot the pace seems to be a lot more relaxed like i you know they keep saying like take your time um be safe etc um whereas in the other yard it's like if the foreman ain't looking don't matter what they say in the Safety rules, you're expected to put yourself in harm's way to get the job done or whatever. I'm, I mean, it's kind of like an undertone. I'm not saying like anybody specifically told me that, but that's just kind of the feel I get over there, which is, you know, a familiar feel if you have done blue collar jobs like that. Um, that's, that's just how it is. Oof. Yeah. So yeah, my tummy hurts. <laughs> My stomach is very upset. I put too much black coffee and, and Kratom in it. Um, yeah. I'm going to drink some of my sweet tea. Cheers. Yeah, they make Arizona sweet tea in the little baby cans now. We can buy a, buy a case of them. Golly. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Welcome, uh, welcome to the stream. We're still... We're still in the... It's, I guess this is still like warm up stream time, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I didn't want to cancel, um, cause yeah, this is the last chance we're going to get. We're, we're going to start work tomorrow at 6.30 PM. 
or six maybe. I can't remember exactly. I'm gonna have to check the paper again. Um, that's a thing. That's a thing. I'm not gonna see the sun for more than a few minutes at a time <laughs> for a while. Yeah. So I took a nice walk today after I got back. Um, Cause it was just a four hour shift. That was, I mean, it wasn't a shift. It was just like a four hour trading day. So you can get some extra pay. Kind of throwing us a bone, honestly. Oh yeah. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix up some of this energy drink here. Hopefully it doesn't make me want to throw up. <laughs> Cause I am not going to sleep tonight. No, sir. There was part of me that was considering doing like a weird late night kind of marathon stream and see how long I could stay on and just like go a little stir crazy as a kind of voyeuristic <laughs> sort of situation. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't have the energy for it, but fuck. Yeah. Take vitamin D. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Oh yeah, I'm wearing tiny short shorts, uh, so you might see my ass here. Hold on. You see my ass? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, nothing like the good old short shorts for lounging in the hotel room on my last day as a human being. Last year, I was a little nervous about the... Oh, here. Cheers. That's the good shit. Yeah, last year, I was a little bit nervous about whether or not I actually could do a uh, night shift. And um, when I was doing daily vlogs for that, so um, the people on the Patreon got to see kind of my, like, daily... Um, ranting about how fucking uh, tired I was <laughs> and uh, how how difficult the adjustment was and um, whatnot and uh, so at least this year I know that I can do it last year I was like well I mean I'm gonna do it but I might lose my goddamn mind um, I kind of did but found it again sort of so that's good um, yeah, definitely not my favorite thing, but the money is good enough. We'll do. We got anybody, um, we got any fellow vampires here in chat? Anybody on the night shift? Maybe I'll start doing a night shift stream. <laughs> Dinner and a show. Yep, that's right. Hell yeah. Yeah, I might go outside and have a little smoke at some point. I'm actually out of tobacco. I'm out of tobacco. I'm out of money. Um, and yeah, we just got a couple more days of food left. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's... It, the the first couple weeks of work is always pretty pretty shit because you're just waiting on that paycheck low spring acres worked a 12 hour night shift for years yeah i bet yeah nursing is no joke That's brutal. hey what's up rat ostrich five how's it going fuck yeah cheers buddy Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, and it sounds like the season here is longer than the season in North Dakota as well, but, you know, nobody knows with beads. Everybody pretends like they might have insider information or they have their own predictions and stuff, but at, at the end of the day, it's like, it really is just um, up to the weather. It really is. The only things that'll close... The beet yard is if it's too hot, because if it's warmer than I want to say like 70 something degrees, then the beets will start rotting in their piles. And um, 
So they'll close down the yard. But the thing about the night shift is, like, even if it's too hot during the day, it's not going to be too hot at night. Um, the only other thing that'll close down the yard is if there's lightning because you're on metal machines in the middle of a field. And, um, you know, those machines are already full of electricity and it, the lightning likes to strike them. So if there's any lightning in a certain mile radius, then they'll close it down. But um, I, they don't really close it down for cold. Um, they don't. They don't care if employees are freezing. The beets will be fine. And I also found out um, some more interesting facts about beet sugar. So I guess uh, the number I heard, and I don't, I, I don't know if this is correct, but like, um, you know, just general knowledge I guess is that only 20% of the beets actually go to beet sugar too. The other thing that they use it for is like byproduct and they make um, like kind of a antifreeze for the roads with most of it because um, it's like yeah like fucking most of the beets do end up rotting and they're not fit for consumption. They only keep the nicest, prettiest beets for consumption. But yeah, a lot of it is like, um, like an antifreeze type of thing. Keep the keep the roads from freezing, and I guess that's where the real money's at. Which is interesting. I did not know that. Now we know. All right. Yep. That was um, that was some very concentrated caffeine. All right. Beet pulp is also fed to livestock. Yep, that's right. Feed it to livestock. Um, and I guess they also use it for like um, hunting bait as well. Multi-purpose. Yep, that's right. Them sugar beets. It already smells like sugar beets in the yard too, even though they haven't. I'm, they haven't started piling yet. That'll be tomorrow. And um, I'll be sleeping when the official harvest starts. Uh, Lord willing, anyway. Or I'll be about to go to bed. Um, I'll probably, honestly, I'm going to try and stay awake until 6 a.m. before I go to bed. But, because, um, you know, if I, if I, like, do it any other way, I'm not going to get tired enough. And I'm just not I, I'm not gonna be able to adjust my sleep schedule I'm just gonna have to stay up all night um, come hell or high water I'm just gonna keep keep drinking coffee um, hopefully not have an upset stomach I'm, I'm gonna eat more food well you know there's I don't really have all that much food to eat um, so yeah if you want to help me out <laughs> if you want to help me out and survive this fucking night um, Feel free to hit the link in the description there. One of the and 20 odd cents in my bank account right now. Um, I'm out of smokes, like I said. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not great. Um, so yeah, anything you can kick down, I would like really, really appreciate. Um, and if you like the show, if you like my, my channel, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I know most of you people that watch my lives are already subscribed, but if you aren't, please do. Um, even though I'm not going to be doing live streams for another few weeks. God, that's going to be so sad. I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss you guys. Shit. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I was... Uh, I've been really enjoying doing these... Uh, doing these lives... Oh, yeah, I'm out of fucking... I'm not... You know, I'm out of THC as well. And my fucking battery... I was worried about it before, but it kept working. Now it's just dead. I can't even get high. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. That's why I drank so much Kratom. I'm like, shit, I can't even fucking smoke weed right now. Oh, God. It sucks. Ooh, I know. 
<laughs> I got these uh, these Kava tonics. Now, that's going to be like a speed ball or something. Like a, I don't know, with the caffeine and the Kava. I'm going to make myself fucking sick. Fuck you guys. I'm going to lose my goddamn mind tonight. I don't give a fuck. Just, welcome to hell, bitch. Welcome to fucking hell. Mm-hmm. My personal mental and physical health out the window. Out the window for at least two weeks. <laughs> Bach. Oh, send a few dollars to Cash App. Thank you. Thank you, Critter Bones. I really do appreciate that, man. I know. I know you're not fucking loaded. I know money doesn't grow on trees, but I really do appreciate that. You're you're fucking helping me out. If I can afford it, I'd love to go and pick up some some THC or something tomorrow, but I don't I don't know if I'll even have fucking time. I'm gonna get some water in this bitch. You get to see my ass again. You're welcome. Oh well, yeah, speaking of ass, man. There's some fine asses in this town. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Alright. I'll let this shit get a little fucking muddy in here, but that's okay. Yeah, I love that working class ass, baby. It's good shit. Cheers to working class ass. Oh, that needs more water in it. Mm. <laughs> Not showing enough. <laughs> hey, if somebody wants to throw down more, I'll show you more ass. You want you want some more ass? I only got so much leg to show. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Thanks, dude. Get some bubblers. I don't know what that is. Um. All right, yeah, I don't know what that is. It might be locked. Like last time, I don't know what you're referring to. Sent 10 bucks Venmo. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're sweet. What a sweetheart. Fuck yeah. That's great. Yeah, it, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely going to be nice to pick up a few, uh, power snacks at the, uh, the Dollar General. Yeah. Fuck. Um. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. I'm just trying to clean up after myself here. Holy fuck. Now I just wish I could get fucking high. Seriously. What a drag. This is supposed to be like one of them fancy fucking batteries. Okay. It turned on. All right. This is like some leftover. I think it's Delta nine. Click the button five times, it might be locked. Oh, no, that's what I've been doing every time. That's how you turn it on. I'm not stupid, man. I know. You see, it's it's not taking a charge. That's the problem. It ain't charging. This ain't my first time using a fucking vape. I'm a traveler too, I get it, yep. Come on, you motherfucker. Yeah, it's it's fucking dead. I've been trying to get it to hold any charge for like three days now. Yeah, it's it's fucking bogus. Yeah. Yep. I literally just bought that too, like a couple weeks ago. Alright, I'm gonna rinse this out. Yep. Well, anyway, anyway, no, 
I'm so fucking, so brain fried. Welcome to, welcome to Cornelius' brain is made out of fucking silly putty. And you get to watch them slowly unravel before your eyes as the horror of the realization of what they've gotten themselves into dawns on them. Yep, yep, yep. The reality sets in. The PTSD night shift beat harvest flashbacks are playing before their eyes. <laughs> uh, yep, yep. Hopefully, I got a feeling that it's gonna be a lot more chill here though. Like, on on the real, like, even I was in the fucking hiring office for the um, the initial kind of training video and whatnot. Um, and the dude was like talking about, you know, hours and stuff. And he was like, and you know, if you if you need a day off, just make sure you call in. And I was like, what? That's an option. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Say that again. <laughs> He's like, if you need the day off, you know, like if you're feeling bad, if you're feeling shitty, like we don't want you to hurt yourself. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you don't? <laughs> what? You don't want me to pretend that I'm okay and come in anyway, no matter what. And if I don't come in for any reason whatsoever, that I might be completely canned, like, on the spot. What? So, um, yeah. I mean, you know, not like I will call in. Um, but it's, it's kind of cool to have that option. I mean, you never know. Um, I, I was just kind of mind blown, you know, because, like, at the last yard, they're like, that is not an option. You you come in every day that we're working. And if you don't, probably you'll get canned. So, yeah. Is the money you make worth it for that? I mean, is anything worth anything? I don't know, man. I got fucking... I got, I got court fees to pay. And if I don't, then... I'm gonna have a much bigger problem. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Is anything in this world and this life worth fucking working your life away or busting ass for somebody you hate? Making products that you don't agree with? Like, I don't know, man. Does it, does it make a fucking difference? No, because I'm, I gotta do it anyway. You have to. Um, I mean, I guess I could be sitting on the West Coast playing guitar for some yuppies and asking for white boxes, but I don't know. I just, uh, I, I want to level up and, and have more. So sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and do shitty things. And uh, once I'm done here, I can fuck off. I'd rather do a few weeks of big time suck and just like get it over with and leave it all behind, then work at a dead end job for years of my life, never getting ahead and feeling trapped. You know, court fees, how much? Oh, geez, probably like $500, man. <laughs> uh, there's, yeah. Yep. Yeah, probably more like, well, at least 500 bucks. Probably around five, 600 bucks court fees, yeah. So that's a thing. <laughs> that sucks. But, you know, less than a week of work here, and I'll be able to hopefully, well, I mean, by the end of the gig, I'll, I'll probably roll out of here with, like, at least 4K. What did I do? I got caught for trespassing in Indiana. And I got a DUI last year in Minnesota. And that's what I did. So I got two things going for me. And then there's like, with the DUI thing, then there's also the, um, uh, the what is it called? The re-education fee, you know, where you have to take some classes and shit. You gotta pay for the classes. And, um, so yeah, it's, it's just dumb shit. Yeah, chilling in a bush. Yep, uh-huh. I got arrested and thrown in jail for chilling in a bush. That's correct.
what I'm doing, Ren Fairs. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Ren Fairs cool too. I might do that. Um, my friend, my my friend here, uh, she's probably gonna be doing Christmas trees after this. I have to go straight back to slabs after this and take care of a bunch of shit there back in California. So that's that's gonna be a thing. I also gotta do like um uh, I gotta get my my new tags on my car and probably I don't know. I don't know. And then I'm gonna be trying to sell my bus again and uh, actually selling it this year instead of just half ass doing it. Hell yeah, check out the Slab City Library t-shirt. There you go. It's good shit. Oh, I'm so glad that my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Like, I literally, like, fucking 10 minutes before I started my stream, I thought I was going to throw up. Now I feel great. Um, I did not expect that, mixing the kava <laughs> and the energy shit. But I guess really all I needed was some carbs in there to kind of have a little buffer between the, the substances and, and the actual gut lining. So, yeah, I'm feeling like $100. How much for the bus? Uh, yo, I'm, I don't know, man. Like, if you're, if you're legitimately interested in the bus, okay, the, this, the, if you're, if you're legitimately interested in the bus, then fucking contact me some other way, not, not during live stream, because, because I get so many people asking that every single live stream I do, and, and I'm, I'm just sick of repeating the same shit, I don't know. 6,660 has a nice ring to it. There you go, that's the price. Yeah, yeah, if you're serious. Um, but yeah, I am i don't want to fucking explain all the details of my bus right now. It's making my brain bothered. Actually, you probably just need a smoke. I think that's what I need. Cat and smog the car. Oh yeah, that's... That's what I fucking hate about California, too. That's the thing. Like, if I wanted to get the bus, like, all legit again, it would cost so much fucking money. Um, yeah. I don't want to think about that, actually, at all. No. Yeah, we'll just call it 660 There you go. Oh, 10K. Yeah, there you go. 10K. $1 million. Firm. Firm. Like my cock. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, I'm going to put my sandals on and go have a smoke before I bite somebody's fucking head off. Thank you, Captain. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, man. Really do. Yeah. Oh, I wish you could smoke me out too, Career Bones. I would love to be stoned right now. That's another thing. Yeah. I, I, I fucking earlier today, I was just like so irritated. I was like, oh, yeah, before I go for a smoke, let me show you what I've been working on. So, my friend made this cool patch and I'm working on embroidering her design. Um, so I'm gonna, cause it's fading and I don't want it to fade. It's like one of my favorite patches. Um, so yeah, I was working on this and I was like, just on like a couple, you know, like the first or second leaf and my thread kept like tangling, which nor you know, that's, that's a normal thing that happens with thread when you're sewing, right? And I almost lost my fucking mind. I was like, fuck, fuck, you know? And like my friend's sitting there like with her headphones in and I'm just sitting there like, fuck. <laughs> just like sewing is supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Yep. And I was like, why am I so fucking pissed off right now? And that's, that's probably it. Probably because I haven't smoked any weed in a couple days now. That would be it. So, sorry, Carol, I didn't mean to bite your head off there. Need some THC. I know that. I know I do. <laughs> you're, you're just rubbing it in at this point, man. Fuck. I'm, 
Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm fucking very high strung right now. It's bad. It's bad. I I I hate I hate y'all seeing me like this. It's terrible. This is this is my brain not on THC. It's bad. And fuck you. Why I oughta I'm coming coming after you, man. Alright. Let's go have a smoke. It's not gonna fix me, it's not gonna do anything. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh yeah, y'all like my uh I made a little background out of my my um can you poncho. Yeah, so y'all have something cool to look at when I am streaming. Not like I will be streaming. Uh uh. Why do you think I told Critter if he quit it? He had to move out. <laughs> oh boy. Spilling that tea, baby. <laughs> the tea is hot tonight. Oofta. Oofta. Oh, I'm just glad I'll be able to afford some more smokes because I I didn't want to be too much of a sad sack, but like I literally only have enough to roll one more smoke in there, so that was kind of pissed me off a little bit too. My uh, hotel room neighbor came out and asked me for a smoke, and I was like, well, how bad do you need one, man? Because I have um, about enough to roll one. And he was like, oh, shit, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't realize, you know, I'm getting paid tomorrow. So when I do, I'll give you some of my smokes. And I thought that was very sweet of him. I told him he doesn't have to do that. But, you know, it's nice. Well, there's fucking 71 people in chat. Ugh, I'm already shivering. It's going to be like... It's not even that cold. I'm just in tiny, tiny booty shorts. Um, oh, there's 81 folks in chat. Hey, some of y'all hit that thumbs up button if you would. Please and thank you. Appreciate you. There we go. Good folks. Good quality folks. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks for hanging out with me. This is the last the last socialization that I'm going to get with the with the world probably for a little while. Who knows though? Maybe we'll get a day off. Wow, look at those thumbs. The thumb count is jumping. Good job, everybody. Great job. Oh. I wish I could play y'all some I mean, I could play mandolin in my car and not bother anybody, but I'm just, like, way too high-strung. Yeah, that's right, Kim. <clears throat> I'm I'm working 12-hour night shifts every night until harvest is over. Because that's what I'm here to do. 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., baby. I'm going to see the sunlight going down and going up on my way to and from work. Not gonna see the fucking daylight for a while unless it's by accident or somebody wakes me up. In which case I'll be very angry. Yeah. Yeah, I did this last year. It ain't no thing. I mean it is. It's a it's a big thing. I'm gonna be like fucking uh I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a fucking mentally trashed. I'm pretty good at just disassociating, though. I, I swear to God, I could run those machines in my fucking sleep. And they could tell, too. Those those uh, those uh folks were happy to have my experience. So, I'm, I'm glad for that. I'm glad that they, you know, recognize. Because, you know, I, I don't go in trying to, like, impress people. But I, I don't want to, like, hide that I can do stuff. Yep, that's right. I'm on the grind, baby. Yep, I'm going to become a zombie for Halloween. Whoopee. I think that's my least favorite fucking thing about um, 
about harvest work is that, you know, Halloween's like my favorite time of year. Ugh. And, uh, yeah. I miss it. I've, I've been missing it the last few years. Oof, my stomach is being weird now. I need to go buy some food. I've been running off this venison my little brother gave me, though. We still got some of that. Uh, no, Kim. I got I got to go back to slabs after harvest and take care of more adult shit. This is this is gonna be a this is gonna be a grindy kind of winter. Uh, well, nah. I I've been expecting it, you know, all year. That's why I was having so much fun over the summer because I knew it was gonna come to an end. Now it's come to an end. It was a good summer. I did a lot of cool stuff. And uh, there's a bunch of videos coming out through the, throughout the winter. Yes. Yes. Kick down. Kick it down. If you want to help out. Um, yeah. There's the, the PayPal and the Cash App and the Venmo. And you can join the Patreon and see my daily um, vlogs or semi-daily. I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, the reception out here is bad, like I said. I'm lucky that it works in the hotel room good enough to do a live and in my car here, but, you know, if I wander anywhere else, I could hit a dead zone and the stream's gonna drop. So, yeah. And the hotel Wi-Fi is pretty shit, and it goes out constantly. It's bad. My friend actually can't even take calls in the room at all. She has to walk down to the lake. I'm right up on Lake Huron, so it's really pretty. It's a pretty drive um, to work because we're, we're driving along the lake, and the, the fall colors are nice, we're not going to see much of them, because, well, I mean, yeah, we're not going to see much of them, because it's going to be dark, so, I tried to enjoy as much as I could today, <sighs> yes, they do pay for room and board, I don't, I don't know if they take some out of my pay, at, at the North Dakota yard, it was 50 bucks a week, which I've paid more for a shittier accommodations before but you know the hiring company is pretty good uh, um pretty good about getting lodging and if you have an rv or whatever you you can go to the campgrounds campgrounds are pretty cool i almost would rather be at the campgrounds but yeah it doesn't matter Yeah, a nice place to take a hot shower is is good, especially after a long night's work. All right, let's go back in. It's cold. It's cold out here. Mm-hmm. chilly it's gonna be uh chilly and rainy all week but um fortunately they put me on the big piler in the barn so you know we'll have like rain cover and stuff which is really lucky i'm uh, pretty happy about that because most of the most of the pilers are out in the yard in the elements it's not fun <clears throat> and the thing about Doing the beet harvest. You sound beet. Yeah, not yet, buddy. Not even close. Um, the thing about, you know, working working beets is, like, it, it really is a tough job. And um, in the first, like, week or two, people drop out left and right. Things change around a lot. Things get more and more, um, more desperate and hectic as the days go on. When I did beat harvest, we had to sleep in our vehicles. Shit. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. My stomach is not happy right now. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done the caffeine kava mixture. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, my first season, I was I was trying for that because you know it's they said like if you if you're cool with camping, you can 
camp and you, you, they don't take the 50 well if you're in your own hotel room it's a hundred dollars but if you're sharing it with somebody then it's 50 bucks each but i was like you know i want to keep that money so i'm just gonna like lie to them and say that my vehicle is equipped for camping in but then they you know required like pictures and whatever and i'm like okay whatever i'll just suck it up and do the hotel room and i'm glad that i did because yeah they they used to they used to do that they don't anymore probably because it's uh, dangerous, you know. A lot of people don't even know what they're getting into with this job. Like, uh, on, on our first training day, Monday, there was this sweet older lady who, like, clearly had no idea what she was getting into. And <laughs> she was like, you know, we're out there in the rain and she's wearing, like, a fleece pullover and being like, do we get, uh, do we get jackets? Do you provide us with any equipment and whatever? And, like... They're like, um, I mean, we got rain jackets here, these shitty, you know, <laughs> long rubber raincoats that if you ask for them, they'll give them to you. But it's like, you know, oh, honey, you, uh, you are not prepared for this. And then, <laughs> then they asked, like, what shift she wanted. And she was like, oh, I'm not a morning person. I, I hate the mornings. And it's like, well, my, uh, Night shift is going to be really cold and wet. <laughs> You're not going to like that either. <laughs> we pretty much made a good size camp, made the best of it. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you're if you're with a group or something, especially a group of travelers that are familiar with that sort of thing, then you make do. It's not fun, but you got to do it. Wowzers. Yeah, if anybody uh, if anybody kicked down or anything, I will um, I'll send you a thank you note afterward, if possible, because I'm not getting any notifications um, on my phone. Does it look like my hair is getting a little thinner here? That's one of those things about testosterone is you can get a touch of male pattern baldness. I mean, obviously, I'm still. Still doing okay, but <laughs> I might want to. Was uh, was looking into like you can get what is it called PRP like platelet replacement something pla I don't know plasma rich something yeah it's like a thousand five hundred dollars to get your fucking blood drawn and they concentrate the plasma or some shit and then they like shoot it in your scalp. <laughs> So, I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll shell out for that. In Mexico, it's like a few hundred bucks. So maybe I'll do that this winter. <laughs> Go to Mexico and get fucking get my teeth fixed and do some other medical stuff. That's another thing that I got to do this winter is go to Mexico and do medical stuff. Figure out my other situations. There's there's a lot to worry about right now. I feel like I'm doing more adulting this year than I care to. But that's just kind of how it goes. Meat harvest is no joke. Yep. It's not. And, you know, a lot of folks like me end up working beats. So it's, it's kind of cool. I've already met a number of folks that are also travelers um, that I'll be working with. Including a couple of freight train riders. Which is always fun to meet other people that do that. Well, not always. Sometimes you get, like, real fucking shitheads that think that they're the coolest guy ever because they rode, like, five trains. <laughs> yeah. How's Satan doing? She's at my mom's. So she's enjoying her time in the woods and on the lake. Satan's, uh, Satan's having a ball. My mom's been sending me pictures. And, uh, yeah, she looks like she's having a lot of fun. Have you done the Mexico thing before for medical stuff? Just curious since it seems dangerous as fuck. Whatever, man. Mexico is fine. Everybody always wants to talk shit on Mexico. I don't know. Yeah, Satan's getting spoiled. She's she's on the lake fucking every day. Almost. And uh playing fetch. 
with my mom's uh, husband and having having a good old time. She's great. I'm sure she's. I'm sure she's uh, probably snuggled up in her warm little bed right now. Yep. Yeah, Satan's good. Perfect, in fact. Oof, man, I just want to lay down already. I'm tired. I'm going to have to be up all night. What fucking time is it? It's almost 8. All right. Yeah, I'd rather go to Mexico for medical shit than places in the U.S., for real. Like, our medical system is draconian, and the equipment that people use is outdated. It's the fucking, um, what is it, that patriotic bullshit that they want to feed you, like, oh, it's the greatest country in the whole world. Fucking eat my dick. It's not. It's... It's bad. Yeah, the U.S. is scary as hell when it comes to um, a lot of things. It's, it's bad. I'd rather pay out of pocket to a guy that doesn't speak English and, than fucking go to the doctor here. And that's a fact. Snuggled up in bed eating steak. I don't know about that. She's got her little puppy bed. I told my mom she can give her a um, couple of little treats in the evening. I told her I usually give her, like, you know, some, some table scraps before bed or something. That's so why I want to go to Guatemala. There you go. Yeah, Guatemala seems like a nice place. I've never been, but it seems nice. Very nice. Uh, Kay Tay, stop watching fake news. Yeah, stop watching fake news. There you go. Good call, Captain. There's a Discord server that I didn't mention during the stream I usually do. We all hang out in there and chat. I'll probably be posting in there a lot this week, keep myself occupied while there's downtime. So if you want to hang out and chat in there, there's a lot of nice folks in the discord and it's of course free to join there's a link there uh, in the chat that the captain just posted and there's a link in the description oh boy yeah we're getting close to uh close to the end of the stream here i'm starting to like get a little I'm starting to get a little fucking weird Oh, yeah. Yep. Kava and caffeine. That'll do it. I'll probably eat something else, too. Um, if you want to help uh, me to not starve <laughs> and also to get high so I'm not so fucking high strung, then uh, feel free to get down with the kick down. There's links in the description there. Um, at the beginning of the stream, I had a little over $8 to my name because of some very generous... At least a couple of nice kickdowns from folks. Uh, I'd probably have at least twice that much now. If not more. God, it just that fucking sucks, dude. I've had this plugged in for like, you know, not just today, but like multiple other days trying to fucking troubleshoot it, and it's fucked. There's no reason why it should be either. I just got this damn thing. Eat and sleep. No. No, I'm not sleeping. That's the whole point of the, that's like in the title of the stream. I'm I'm on night shift now. I don't sleep tonight. That's the thing. I just I just consumed 200 milligrams of caffeine. I'm uh, not going to bed until fucking six in the morning. Yeah, that's this is my new fresh hell. I'm going to be in this fucking weird mind state for weeks. Uh, yeah. Cornelius has left the building. I'm now a uh, beat baron. That's my, that's my lot in life. That's what I do now. I, I serve the beats. The beats rule me. <laughs> I have to come, like, 
3 a.m. to stay awake. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Uh, I was considering doing like a like a 3 a.m. marathon stream while I'm losing my mind tonight, trying to stay awake. And the, while that would be pretty entertaining, I don't know if I got it in me right now. Let us not skip a beat of your next few weeks, please. Oh, eh, if you don't want to miss anything, then you got to join the Patreon. Because I'll be uploading daily vlogs to the Patreon about my work experience. So, if you're interested in that, make sure you hit the Patreon link. Otherwise, you will miss every beat. <laughs> you're going to miss it all. Yeah, this is a, a pay-per-view event. Watch me lose my goddamn mind. Uh... For only one dollar a month on Patreon. Yippee! You're welcome. <laughs> Huzzah! Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Um, what's the opposite of fun? Probably fun for you guys, I suppose. Um, the opposite of fun for me. <laughs> but uh, that's just part of. That's part of life. Oh boy, yeah, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> I do five. Match me, reprobates, hell yeah, hell yeah. You wanna match the cat and cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll be here if you need us to help you stay awake. Thanks, maybe, maybe I will. Who knows? I have not, I don't think I've ever done like a 3 a.m. live stream before. Maybe I will. And if you're interested in catching a live stream and you have not subscribed yet, you should hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Um, yeah. Drop a dono if you feel like it. Or uh, come hang out in the Discord. That's probably what I'm going to be doing. If you want to help me stay awake, come on in the Discord and fucking at me oh boy yep it's gonna be a thing who doggy we got some concentrated cold brew here I'm gonna drink some of this with y'all cuz I'm a fucking masochist that's why that's why jobs like this are a great outlet for masochists because you know from a, a civilization perspective uh, I'm ju I'm just doing my job, and whatever. But from a psychotic perspective, <laughs> I'm I'm doing uh, socially acceptable self harm, <laughs> and uh, you know at least I get paid for it. You don't get paid for doing a lot of different types of self harm, <laughs> but uh, yeah, in this society they uh, they celebrate that sort of thing. Oh, it looks like my my homie's coming back in. We're in uh, the last last minute or so of, of the stream, and I'm, I'm really glad y'all could join me today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna water down this coffee concentrate, and we can say our goodbyes. Because if all goes well, I'm not sleeping tonight. Mm. Cheers. Cheers, reprobates. Thank you all very much. And to anybody that got down with the kickdown today, um, my my notifications aren't showing me. I don't know. Maybe maybe just the two of you did, but um, thank you all very much for your support. I really appreciate it. And um, hope to see you in the Discord, okay? All right, I'm going to fuck off. Um, wish me luck. Bye. <laughs>